Suppose we have this cylinder that is loaded with an internal pressure. We expect the hoop stress to be uniform in distribution and therefore uniform in color on the stress plot. However, when you plot a stress component other than von Mises stress, such as SY, you see a non-uniform color distribution. To interpret the plot, you must draw lines parallel to the coordinate axes and see that on the horizontal axis, SY represents hoop stress at particular locations that cross the line on each side of the model. On the vertical axis, you see that SY represents the radial stress at particular locations that cross the vertical line. This interpretation is time consuming and confusing to present to most people. It is better to utilize the natural coordinates of the structure to show the hoop stress and radial stress components separately. To do this, you can reference an axis down the center of the cylindrical shape when you plot the result component. Since we have symmetry in loads, materials, and restraints, and we want to maximize use of available computing resources, we develop a configuration using one quarter of the model. We place symmetry displacement restraints on the cut surfaces and a zero displacement restraint on the back surface using the on flat face option. These displacement restraints suppress all rigid body modes. After we run the analysis, we generate the default von Mises stress plot. However, your client needs to know the hoop and radial stress components in the model. To do this, generate a new plot using the SOLIDWORKS axis as a reference. The first input area is for the plane, axis, or coordinate system, and we pick the axis. In the drop-down, pick SX for radial component of stress, and we choose to plot the undeformed shape. Cosmos now shows us the effect of picking the axis. It sets up a cylindrical coordinate system shown by the translucent green cylinder with two axes, R for radial and Z for axial. The hoop direction is around the circumference. So now we've plotted the radial stress. You can see areas in the model under radial tension in red, transitioning to areas in the model under radial compression with colors from orange to blue. Let's look at the correspondence for results in the property manager when you select an axis for reference. For stress, SX represents the radial stress and UX represents the radial displacement. The components SY for stress and UY for displacement represent the hoop, circumferential, or tangential component. And SZ or UZ represent the axial components of stress and displacement. Now let's plot the hoop component. We define a new plot and pick the axis for reference. Then we choose the SY component for the stress. You can see how the hoop stress is all in tension. It's about twice as high on the inside diameter as it is on the outside diameter. Now plot the radial displacement component. Right click and define a new plot. Pick the reference axis and the displacement component UX to represent radial. Notice the reference cylinder again and the red arrow labeled R for radial. You can see how the red areas show just over two one thousandths radial displacement and the blue areas are a little less than that. Animation of the plot with undeformed overlay corresponds the radial displacement behavior of the cylinder under internal pressure. If you plot the hoop displacement represented by UY, we see effectively zero values as expected. The model colored areas are a result of rounding error in the zero values shown on the legend.